You know, I didn't even know Padre Gaetano existed until about 2000 when my mother sent me a note out of the blue saying there was a Catanoso in Italy that was on track to become a saint. Sounded a little unusual to me and um, a little bit beyond belief, quite frankly, because I don't think there are any saints in my family, certainly not in America. It wasn't until 2003, just a couple of days after Christmas, when I visited uh, Reggio Calabria with my wife and my three daughters and we came to the church here and we came into this room a room where Padre Caetano, in the last 10 or 15 years of his life, really held his mission together. He heard confession in this room. He wrote his articles and his sermons in this room. He slept in this bed, often with a sealus, which is a barbed uh, wire that actually induces pain. He believed he was paying for the sins of all mankind by suffering even in his sleep. It was a pretty remarkable thing to learn about this man and the life of service that he had led and to be in this room and to be among his things, very few things, was to really understand a lot about him. His simplicity, the power of his faith, and really what he meant to so many people, not only in Reggio, but really all over Calabria.